what's up YouTube? This week's MS Monday won't be as intense as last week because that shit was bananas. Bananas in a good way, but still. This week we are going to start a two-part journey on one of the most frustrating, longest periods of my life. This is what I like to call limbo. Limbo is where you sit when you know something is wrong, but you do not have a diagnosis. Which is why I'm going to talk about four symptoms, numb feet, tingling skin, muscle weakness, and typing. My very first memory of any sort of symptom is as vivid as it happened just yesterday. I was a typical 16 year old girl and I was wearing Doc Martens and going to the mall with my girlfriend and my dad Brandon because that's what girls do. We were getting off on Bristol Road which was the off ramp to the mall and I thought I moved my foot to the brake but I had actually continued to push the gas so I had to do some crazy quick maneuvering to keep the car on the road. From that moment on, I started wearing flip-flops year-round for a very specific reason. My feet, when I would walk, I would need to roll them out because this part right here, I could feel the best. And I live in Michigan, so wearing flip-flops year-round in the middle of winter is a great way to get people to look at you funny. But in my situation, hot and cold sensations weren't as extreme as, I'm going to say, normal people, because it was a little dull. I recently connected the muscle weakness with an early symptom, because I still struggle with muscle weakness every single day. It was probably the most horrible symptom I have because I feel like I am young and I have a two-year-old. I should be active. So for me, that's one of my one of my struggles, man. Back then, it was track. I tried really, really, really hard, and all runners know that in the last leg of the race, you go. You go, 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 go. You give it everything you got, and you finish that race knowing that you have no more fuel. For me, it was the last leg of the race, and I was going, I'm going so fast. But I wasn't. And then my legs would just look be done and I just thought it was because I was tired because that's what happens after a race. Now that I've experienced it in a different setting, I know that it truly was muscle weakness. I remember sitting in my senior typing class and my words per minute just started to tank. And then I started to think that my teacher was a prick because he gave me the feeling that I was just slacking because I was a senior because that's what seniors do in a typing class. This last symptom is really hard to explain if you haven't actually felt it. I'm going to call it leg sensitivity for a lack of better words. I remember being in Hawaii and shaving my legs and calling my mom and I was really upset because it hurt to shave my legs and it doesn't hurt to cut little baby hairs off of your skin with a razor. Now that I've had time to process it, I think it was the first experience of my entire body going numb. Next week I will be back to talk about my college era symptoms. My ultimate goal is to help people out there get out of limbo to realize what is going on with their body and to be a support system. If you don't have friends and family in your life that really understand because you look normal on the outside, there is nothing wrong with you, you are crazy. And then the doctors are sitting here saying each test is negative, which feeds the family. You look normal, the doctors say nothing's wrong, and then your body is sitting here going, stop listening to them. Don't do it. You need to keep pushing, but all you want to do is give up. If you don't have a family, doctor, support system group, just send me a message, please, because you are not alone, you are not crazy, you're not making it up. Which means you should subscribe, it's in one of these corners or somewhere, to my channel because next week we're talking about more symptoms and then the week after that, you know what, we're going to talk about MS some more and the week after that, we will talk about MS again. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.